What's up? So got this giant box on my couch. I gotta go to Phoenix for a couple days, so I'm gonna be there. So I had to pump out a video. You know what it is. Just wanna say I hope you guys are good. Everything's okay. If you're breathing right now, man, click that subscribe. I don't know if you guys can tell right now, but we just had a hurricane and it, it's honestly fine. It can't flood when I'm up here. This is going to help you regardless of how you trade, regardless of your strategy. It is going to help you make so much money and be so much more comfortable, especially live trading, seeing the chart form, printing in live action. The number one thing that I can comfortably say that's helped me out the most is right under your notes. It's such a basic thing that gets so overlooked because people think that it's a basic concept. And just because of that, they don't want to dive into it because again, you know, people say there's so much more advanced stuff. Why would I dive into this stupid shit? When in reality, this is the thing that has helped me out so much, give me so much more confidence, make me feel so much more comfortable, especially when I'm live trading and the candles are printing out, you know, live right in front of me. Regardless of your strategy, regardless of how you trade, everybody's going to look at the chart. So this is always going to help you. I've been such a big preacher. I'm giving you guys kind of ideas and stuff that works for every strategy, you know, because I don't want you to trade like me because I'm me. Candlestick wicks. I'm going to blow your mind. Such a simple thing. Something so overlooked will make you so much money. Incorporating this into your strategy is going to bless you. There is no concept. There is no ideology. We are going to look at candlestick wicks and play both sides. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can use a blank chart to give yourself so much of an advantage. Number one thing I do with price action is identify the trend. If you really struggle to do this, you can use Hekinashi candles. Personally, um, on a day like today where it was super bearish, pretty easy to tell the trend. You know, you should be able to just quickly identify, okay, this, this is a sell-off. This is a downtrend. I just announced a full trading course inside of my discord. So this isn't some scammy shit. Everyone starting out beginner going to an intermediate and then expert, and it's going to be an interactive course. For example, in the expert section, you're going to have to show me a payout that you've gotten since the start of the course to actually unlock that content and further yourself. Plus live trading every day, seminars every week, talk to me, learn more every single day. Everybody that takes a chance on this, I promise you are going to see something out of it. Use this code. It'll be the best decision you've ever made. But again, if you want to use Hekinashi, it's a lot easier for you to identify the trend. Um, I would recommend using this as your main chart. If you have a, you know, a setup where you can see multiple screens or something, use the Hekinashi to understand and kind of keep on the side to help you identify, okay, is the trend bearish or bullish? And you, cause you can't chart on Hekinashi brush. It is, it's, it's not good. That is a super easy way to help you identify. If you really struggle with that identifying trend, using the Hekinashi candles on whatever time frame you'd like to trade on really helps you get kind of a bias. Um, if you really are a bot. But in reality, it's super easy to tell. Today, for example, super big sell-off at open, clearly bearish, found a floor, started to be bullish. I would not consider us, wow, that kind of looks like a dick. I would not consider this to be a bearish continuation until we break this low. So at that point where we did catch that pivot and we started to push up, I would flip to bullish until we break this low again. And you can see we didn't do that for the rest of the day. We kind of started to trend up pretty nicely. And then towards the afternoon, we started to close off. I'm going to use a day where I don't have any zones to really try and give you the example of not using anything, but the chart to help you find setups. Back testing is so amazing. If you don't do it enough, you definitely should. This is the opening candle and you can see clearly our trend should be automatically thinking about longs. I'm not a big believer in looking at pre-market to determine trend, but you can see pre-market was moving up. So this does explain why we saw a continuation of that this candle right here determines my bias and i'm playing off this candle for the rest of the day this is on the five minute and i don't trade on the five minute like that but this is so amazing what we saw here was a very strong push up from buyers now what does this candle actually mean and how many times can i circle it this is what i love about trading is because every candle can be determined differently than it actually looks like now you may think that this candle right here is the most bullish candle on the chart. But in my opinion, this candle is the most bullish candle on the chart. And when you think of this candle and you see that it actually closed red, you should be able to agree with me that this is not a bearish candle at all. And it's all because of the wick. Now, when you see we had this big opening push to the upside, price started to reject it a little bit. And then we saw a massive sell off almost down to the open of the candle and a huge rejection of buyers stepping up at a new high, verifying the trend to the upside. At this point, what I would do if I traded on the five minute is I would easily mark out this zone because this is such an amazing candle to take a trade off of. There's multiple ways you can interpret this. If you are someone to take a lot of trades in the day, you are looking for a lot of setups, a great setup you could have taken. And I know this is in hindsight and it's very hard for me to give you guys super realistic outcomes because you know we're, we're looking at the, the after effects. A trade at the close of this candle would be an amazing setup for longs. Now it is pretty early in the day, 
So, you know, I'm, I would probably never take this trade. And this is on the fifth. This is on the five minute. And I, I don't trade that way anyways. But this is a, a beautiful setup. Because what this shows you is a pretty good setup for buyers to continue. Because we just had a huge influx of buyers coming out open. And then, boom, so many sellers come in. Buyers sweep the low. Sellers get exhausted. Price gets pushed back up. Now there aren't as many sellers in the market, especially at that low, and we continue to go up. This is an easy setup for longs. This is such an amazing setup. You could run a one-to-one -one here. This would have been a 32-point SL, which is pretty big, but if you size correctly, that would be okay. You could even run a one-to-one. -one. I'm not going to go super deep into. You could even target this high back here, um, but again, beautiful setup for longs right there. And you can see throughout the day, we tried to get under this level so many times and look what happened. Buyers held it up all day. So that's a really good thing about these zones. This is something that you could leave up on your chart for a long time. Let's look at a trade like this on the 15 minute time frame. Again, this is something I want to explain to you. The bigger the time frame you get on, the less you're going to see these candlestick wicks intraday, meaning you might be able to see a setup on the hourly time frame or a candlestick wick on the daily or hourly those, those are not trades you could possibly take. Those are more areas you want to stay away from um, just because, you know, it's going to take so long for these to form in the bigger time frames because the more you zoom out, again, everything is relative, the longer it's going to take for things to form. Um, but the 15 minute, again, this is a beautiful setup. We can identify even before we even think about taking this trade, that trend is, is leaning bearish. We just had a big push up and we're starting, we're finally starting to top out. Um, this is a perfect setup for me personally, just identifying identifying it completely off of a candlestick wick. As a day trader, you need to be able to switch your biases very quickly. Um, in a situation like this where we have a nice uptrend, um, you know, this is really where you start to pivot after this big sell off right here. We see kind of consolidation and a drop. A candle like this would really verify shorts for me. Just again, another top wick. All we're looking for, top wick, top wick, top wick, top wick in a short position. We really start to top off and you can see right here, this candle is really what got me interested in this trade. It's, it's really nice to picture candles before they were actually closed. So you can see we kind of were holding this low right here. Price got bought up all the way up to this high. Sellers sold it back off underneath this. And there's probably, let's, see, let's turn on our EMA. Yeah, we're probably, we stayed right under the EMA. That, that's a pretty good setup for shorts too. But this, this is like A plus. And I really preach waiting for the perfect setup, waiting for confirmation. There's always going to be more points on the table. Then huge sell off. This is where sellers really start to take control. You can see buyers were really trying to fight up here. Keep the trend alive. Boom. Right here, automatic flip. If you weren't bearish already, this turns you bearish. And now these three candles are what we decide our trade on. You can see right here, and you know, people will call this a bear flag, um, you know, just consolidation for another move down. Um, in my eyes, which it is that, but in my eyes right here, this candle, again, this candle is green. Don't get me wrong. This is somewhat of a bullish candle. This does not signify anything bullish for me though. Until we break above this high, there is no even thought of me taking a, taking longs at all. This candle shows me that sellers are still prominent because they're not letting buyers, they're not even letting buyers get this up at all. Um, and then this candle verified that for us. I'm not taking shorts off of that because there's no confirmation just yet. But this still definitely leaves the door open for sellers to continue. If sellers really like this for a move down, they will take control with a candle like this. And that's exactly what they did. They just inversed it with this candle right here. Now we didn't see the drop through just yet. But that just shows you there are still sellers in this new low. You know, we just dropped a shit ton and there's still sellers trying to buy this even lower um, or sell this even lower. And you can see after that candle, we were close to a trade, but this candle really verified our setup. You can see buyers tried to push this back up. We finally broke below this low with strength, came down and closed at this low. Again, we wait for our closes with a top wick like this man, this is, this is such a money trade. You know, people try to get in up here for a potential short. And of course it would have played out, but you are being really risky. It's not worth it. You know, just, we waited, we waited for confirmation, got our setup and we still made a bunch of money. We're totally fine. All we did now was give us that conscious, that right of mind to give us more confidence going into the trade. And in my eyes, that's going to make you more profitable every single time. The main thing you take away from this video, we're looking for shorts here, okay? The main thing the main thing I want you to take away from this video, we're looking for shorts after this candle right here. We're looking for a candle to get in on shorts that tells a story. This candle doesn't tell a story. This candle doesn't tell a story. This candle doesn't tell a story. This candle definitely does tell a story, but we don't want to take a trade after a move like this because in, in reality, we could have missed our setup. This trade doesn't tell a story or this candle doesn't tell a story. 
This candle doesn't tell a story. This candle does for me. Looks super, super good before I move down. All you're looking for, look at these fucking shitty candles. You know, this, this isn't giving me any information at all. At all. What candles actually tell a story? This candle, you know, you know, fuck it. We can get into this, this trade right now. This candle tells a story to me. And we can look, we can mark this out. I would take this trade every single time. If this gave, if someone gave me an opportunity to take this trade, I would do it every fucking time. Now, yes, trend is bearish, but you can see this candle eliminates that for me. This is a very strong bullish candle. What I was talking about earlier, this is a red candle. Does this signify a bearish move for you? No. So just because a certain candle is a color that you may you know, want to trade differently does not mean that it will actually signify the color of the candle. This candle is red, but that is one of the most bullish candles I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, again, this is the 15 minute. So we're going to have a 55 point SL on this trade. But you know that that just that just, it's all relative. Meaning we could target 55 points and be very comfortable with it. And you can see we would have we would have got whatever amount you wanted on this trade. We wait for candle close. We get confirmation. This is the candle we saw on entry. We get in at this close. SL at the bottom of this wick. I'm taking this trade every single time. This is the A plus setup for me. Let's get into a trade that I've taken. This is something else I love to do on a day like today where it was extremely bearish. You guys can see if I can zoom out for you guys. Super bearish day on a day like this. It was to the point where I identified, I just can't play longs. And I actually did catch a dub on longs earlier in this day, but this is an example of candlestick wicks. And yes, the reason why I had a lot of confidence into this was because it was in one of my zones, um, you know, ironically. But we can look and we can see th four or five top or four or five bottom wicks in a row, just showing to us, sorry, let me remove this, just showing to us that, you know, we're seeing a huge sell off. We finally see some sort of buyer step up in this zone, which is a good thing because you, you inherently see price pop up. And if you would have gotten to a trade, you know, trying to play out this low, it definitely would have worked. The problem was, and that's what I've been telling you to do is look for trades like this, you know, where we try and catch a reversal. The today was so bearish, you know, it's to the point where if you identify the trend and you understand it's today, today we're down 250 points in 15 minutes. We cannot play longs. It's just not, it's not, we're not going to be the ones to flip this. So inherently what I did, and this is something you can also do when you trade this way, is you can mark out a, a bottom like this, and especially because this was currently our low of day. So that just shows me that this is already a, a pretty important level now that we've we've kind of bought off of it. And you know, as I said, price action was really bearish today. And this was a trade I actually took. Sellers automatically took it off. What I would do in this spot, and this is exactly what I did, was I would set an order at the low, um, which just happened to be right in my zone. SL would be, you know, and I had the whole zone, I just marked it out of my SL. SL could be at this low right here. And we wait for the break and we caught we caught 20 points on this pretty easily. Why did I just take that trade? Why did I wait for the break? Because this was currently our low of day right here. We finally broke it. So what does that signify to us? Buyers are in this area. We can clearly see that. If we break that, sellers can regain control and push it down even lower. That's exactly what they did here. That's exactly what we, we, we look for. Set an entry up at the low, you know, waiting for the break of this low to make a new low, a new low of day. And we caught 20 points. We bring the boom. I mean, guys, this trade is like, I don't need to explain myself. You guys see this trade. This is a perfect setup. Um, super bullish. Trend was already bullish. We see that, you know, we're popping up. We finally see a little bit of a rejection and we see this candle right here. What have I talked about? This is this is probably this is probably the best setup I've ever seen in my entire life. I'd put, I'd full board this. Yeah, we just saw you know especially with these bottom wicks right here, we just bottom right into that, bought right up. It's crazy. If you can just read price action, understand candlesticks, it's it's easy, man. It's an easy game, man. But yeah, man, I love you guys. Hope you guys are doing good, man. I, I mean, shit, man. That this trade, this nah, man. If y'all don't get up to this, bro, sorry, you guys are idiots. Um, I love you guys so much. Subscribe, man. I'm trying to get to 100k, man. If it ever happens, man, I love you guys so much. I'll give away like 100 grand or something.